Hey everyone, Tyson the Subaru Specialist from Subaru Prince George here. Today, my video is about the advanced parking assist that you find in the new Subaru Solterra, Subaru's first full EV. So I have a Solterra with technology package here and I've been wanting to test this out for a while and in this parkade was really the only place I could find with bare lines and even here you can see that there is some snow on it. So we're going to test it out, we're going to see how it goes. I did a little trial run, two of them to be exact, so let's see how they work out. Really, the advanced parking assist is for those tight areas or when you first get this Solterra and you're not comfortable with all the corners, you're not 100% sure how things are exactly going to be. So this is a pretty cool aid. Uh, I've had the chance to try this in the F-150s, uh, not the Lightnings, just the regular ones, and I was, it was a little scary actually. So we'll see how this goes. So parking assist button, and I do apologize, it is a little dark in here. It goes directly to night mode as soon as I have the headlights turned on even on auto but advanced park assist is that little button with the p and the steering wheel there so i'm in park right now i'm also sitting back a little bit further than i normally would and actually you know what because of the glare i'm going to turn the solterra around and we're back it's just a little bit better so i have literally just turned the solterra in the other direction i am centered between where the parking spot lines are on either side of the vehicle and I'm currently in park with my foot on the brake. So put it in drive like we're driving through a parking lot looking for a space and we press park. Oh, seat belt is unfastened. Safety first. Uh, I did learn that you can change the color of the Solterra on the screen. It was white when I first got it. I was playing with some of the settings. I will show you that press P for park, my belt is done. So you can see here, it shows the Solterra and where it wants to go. You can choose the parking spot and it shows you whether, how you're in. And now you can choose if you're gonna back in or if you're gonna go in forward. So let's do back in. So my foot's still on the brake, break. I press start, advanced park active, and it says remove my foot from the brake and check this surroundings for safety so it's going to start by moving us forward and the wheel turns i know it is kind of hard to see with it being so dark focus on the screen puts it in reverse and you can see it's kind of highlighted in blue where it wants to put us and you can see we're getting kind of close to that post coming up there that support post and when it finishes that it automatically puts it in park and it gives you a 360 view of the Solterra pretty darn cool now let's check let's hop out and let's see what kind of a park job it did it's in park the key is in my pocket when I hop out of the Solterra it is gonna beep at us pretty decent spacing that's that beeping I was talking about we're definitely inside the lines. I would say it's fairly evenly spaced on either side. And now you can adjust the how, how far the turning is, like how if you find it's turning too sharp or too wide, you can adjust that, I will show you that. But even at the back here, it leaves a little bit of room and I would hazard a guess that it leaves enough room to open the rear hatch. Let's see. just pretty close it'd be it wouldn't open if there was a wall exactly where this was but the spacing is great but yeah and then it will actually pull you out of a parking spot as well if it's tight parking let's hop in let it put my seat belt on otherwise it won't do that super is all about safety some of those things can be a little bit annoying if you're just moving the car well, while using things like this. So advanced park. And you get to choose the direction you want to turn out. And it gives you a little demo as to how it's happening. Or you can turn left. Let's do left. Start forward. Press start. And it tells me to remove my foot. And it pulls us a little bit forward. And it stops us. And it 
says press the brake pedal. Essentially what it wants you to do, because we're potentially going out into traffic, it wants you to check, make sure there's nothing coming, take your foot off the brake, and away we go. There we go, wheel turning on its own. And then I can just take over at any point by moving the steering wheel or applying the brake. And there we go, it stopped us. And then it tells you to put your foot on the brake and you're back in control. Doesn't put you back in park after it's pulled you out of a parking spot. Now, I go to the advanced park. Yes, no parking spots available. It can't really see multiple lines here because of all the snow. So I wouldn't say it's confused, but it's not able to recognize those. So if there's a whole bunch of gravel or debris, it may not work. So under settings, it gives you a whole bunch of different features. So you can choose how fast it parks, how fast it pulls out. And you've got slow, standard, fast. It's standard now. Detection range for the sensors, the parking method for perpendicular, parallel. Yeah, I don't have two cars here two other cars here to practice parallel parking on. Honestly, I'm a little bit scared of trying that right now. I'm still getting used to this. Parking direction, forward, reverse, it, just kind of the defaults. Exit direction, left. So these are all just kind of the primary how it's going to default when there's parking spots available. Um, exit view, so parking path adjustment. So this is what I was talking. If you find that it's cutting the corner too much or it's taking the corner too wide, you can adjust that. So you get a whole bunch of adjustability in this. Oh, I didn't mean to exit that. So road width adjustment. So you can change it slightly narrower, narrow completely. There's lots of things. You can even adjust it for when you have the accessory mount and a bike carrier on it. So they've done a really good job with this. Um, you can set a registered parking space. And now the one thing that I just kind of briefly looked through the owner's manual for it was the remote park and from what it looks like you're able to kind of tell the Solterra to back into a parking spot outside when you're outside the vehicle with the app uh, I do believe that's because it's app related it's not something that I can test until a customer registers the vehicle so let's do this one more time and let's go obviously I'm gonna have to back up here and try to get to a spot where the spaces are or where there's visible spaces we'll see. And you can kind of see on here, it does detect those there. So let's hit advanced park. I'm in reverse. Oh, it's still on. Advanced park, yes. Let's find out here. It's a, it's a little different. This is with all the snow and stuff that we have, This I can see this being advantageous in the summer. There we go. So I get to choose the parking spot. Let's go there and let's go forward parking press start foots off the brake you can see the spot that it chose to park we've moved forwards of it and it shows you kind of where it's going to stop it tells you in advance puts us in reverse the wheels turning all on its own gotta tell you doing this with a brand new car with not a lot of practice myself little scary i do like that it shows the how you're going to make that corner i think that's a great feature it's going to help alleviate some of the anxiety some some people are going to have about trying these new technologies i think it's going to help a lot you can see now when i get a little bit more confident with this and the weather's a little nicer out and i can see road lines all the time i'm going to try with vehicles on either side and i will try parallel parking for you guys and it put it in park for us and it shows the vehicle. And then I did say I was going to show you, where is it here? Off to probably have to talk to you. Ah, there we go. Um, view under vehicle, vehicle body color. So you can choose whatever color of Solterra you would like. So I chose red cause the outside of this one's red, but you could go white. And then you've got moving object alert. Warning when auto display mode is enabled. That's cornering view, shows you all that. So very, very handy features. Uh, and again, this is just a very entry level video about it. 
I'm not an expert with this by any means yet. Have to play around with this a little bit more. But let's take a look at this park job, see if it's as good as the last one. So at the rear, you are lined up with the parkings lines. Good amount of room on the front here. You've still got space to walk around it if you need to. And all the way down on that end. That's pretty perfect if you ask me. So that's a quick overview of how the advanced parking assist does work in the new 2023 Super Solterra. This is a Solterra with the luxury package. This is the full, or sorry, the technology package. That's the full load Solterra. Like I said, when the weather's nicer, when I can have a couple vehicles lined up and I've had a chance to play with this one a little bit more, I will do another video about it. So thanks for watching. If you guys have any questions, any suggestions, want to know something about the Solterra, not necessarily related to advanced work, please put them in the comments below. I'm always looking for new videos to make for you guys. And I love finding the answers to questions that I don't have. So again, thanks for watching. We'll talk soon.